Hi everybody and welcome to another mail art video. In today's video I am going to be showing you guys how to create this fun little um, ephemera pocket that I am going to be making to include in some Happy Mail. Um, and I'm going to decorate some envelopes as well and then show you another way to send goodies in the mail. But right now I'm just going to quickly show you how I very basically folded some ledger paper that I have. This isn't even vintage le uh, ledger paper. I'm pretty sure you could find something similar at an office store for book bookkeeping. Um, I just happened to find some super duper cheap like on clearance somewhere. I think it was Walmart and then I even found some at the Goodwill. So I tend to play with these a lot because I like the colors and because I've got a bunch of it. So basically what I did is I just folded the um, paper not quite in half but about um, three quarters of the way up and now I'm folding it in thirds but not perfectly even because you can see there's a little lip there because I want to be able to slide it into itself and you'll see what I mean by that. Um, I didn't want this to be like a super super tutorial but just like a quick easy way for you guys to you know fold some paper and um, fill it with stuff to be able to include happy mail so Right now I'm just folding the corners down. You don't have to do this, but I am. And then um, you're gonna see I'm just sliding it in. I'm sorry I'm a little bit out of frame. I think I undo it because I realized I was a little bit too close to the end, but I'm literally just taking the bottom corner and sliding it into itself just like that. And that is why I didn't have it folded perfectly on the one side. I left that little lip so that it would fit in there with no problem. And then I'm just folding down another edge. So. I do this different every time. I don't fold the edges down exactly the same way every time, so that's kind of not a science. And for the video, I was just kind of playing. And um, yeah, you can do it however you want. It's just, you know, I wanted to kind of show you um, an easy way to be able to include something fun in some heavy mail. So I've sped it up now and I'm just going to start throwing stuff in. This is just stuff that I literally have laying on my desk. There's no rhyme or reason for it. I kind of panicked <laughs> because once I folded it, I realized I hadn't pulled anything out to like put inside. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm just grabbing stuff that um, is just sitting close to my hands. <laughs> There's just really no rhyme or reason for it. I just wanted to be able to show you you know, how you could put stuff in and how pretty it looks with those edges flapped down because it kind of opens things up a little bit. And um, yeah, so you can tuck stuff into the back and then you can even shove stuff into the center. I didn't show that, but you could. So here is another thing. I have cut down some page protectors to make these um, fussy cut washi sample thing. Um, I don't, I don't even know what to call it, but I just fussy cut a bunch of of my washi tapes that have like images on them that could be fussy cut and then I had this little like spare piece and instead of wasting it I decided um, maybe I will just make a little version to include in some happy mail so again I panicked <laughs> and didn't really have um, a bunch of supplies that I could stick to this so I just grabbed some of this London Gifties floral washi and I'm gonna fussy cut that out and I will say, um, if you are interested in this, um, these chunky London Gifties washi tapes, the adhesive is not as strong as a lot of the other brands. And I've talked to Christine about it and she said it has to do with the fact that it's a, such a wide tape and um, if she had made the adhesive any stronger, it would have ripped really, like it would have torn in a bad way, like it would have it just really been really hard to peel because it's so thick. So I will say that if you um, are interested in getting these washi tapes, just be aware of that, that the adhesive isn't as strong as some of the other washi tapes. And um, with the gold foil as well, again, the adhesive is not very strong on it because if it were any stronger, it would have peeled the gold foil right off of it. So um, I just quickly am wrapping it around this thing, just like I would do any other washi sample, except for I'm just wrapping it around this and included, again, some more fussy cut images, but I'm also going to be putting stickers on there as well. So you can use anything that's got an adhesive back. I am just using washi tape because that was the whole idea behind 
the whole thing that started this was that I was, you know, fussy cutting all of these washi images for my personal traveler's notebook that I figured, you know, let's do the same thing. So I'm just slapping stuff on there. No rhyme or reason. I'm not really thinking about it being cohesive. I'm just, you know, thinking, you know, this is something quick I can show you and kind of give you an idea. I will send this in Happy Mail. I'm not going to make this and waste it, but, um, yeah, just, it's just basically for the video. <laughs> Do it for the gram. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm simply just using anything with adhesive. You can see I'm using regular stickers and, um, you can use anything you want, but this was just stuff that I had on my desk. I have to work very quickly when I film these videos. And so I don't have a whole lot of time to like pull supplies. I get an idea, the babies go down for a nap, and then I have to run into my office and film really quickly. So there's not a whole lot of forethought put into it, which is a shame because I used to put a little more effort into it. But um, here lately, I just haven't been able to. And that's fine. I don't think the quality of the videos has gone down. But um, as far as like giving you guys the kind of information that maybe you're looking for, or um, being cohesive in any way. It's just not there. I don't work that way very well anyway. Um, I work best if I just have a bunch of random supplies. It's just my personal preference, I guess. So, all right, we're moving along into decorating these envelopes. And again, it's just a bunch of stuff, stuff that I had on my desk. And um, sorry if I'm looking my hands are looking weird I was trying to talk to my son he came in and talked to me he's so cute and apparently I can't uh, work and speak at the same time <laughs> so, um, yeah I'm just grabbing random bits that I had on my desk I had this big piece of paper and decided that I would decorate an envelope for a friend that I know just had a little girl and I want to be able to send some happy mail with that and um, just like a card and some goodies and all that jazz and this felt appropriate. So again, I'm going to use some more of this London Gifties washi tape just because it was right there. And I am going to add more glue to it just because, like I said, I'm going to be sending this through the mail and I don't want um, this the, the washi bits to come off just because, um, you know, I, I do worry about that. And um, the adhesive, like I said, isn't super duper strong, which if that bothers you, I'm really sorry. Um, if I've totally turned you off to this, I hope it doesn't because the images are stunning and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm literally just rubbing it into my glue stick. Like there's just no, it's not like a huge, great added step and look how beautiful it looks right there. Um, I just, I don't know. I love it. So I put this washi down and then I saw that little shrimp there and I was like, Ooh, that's kind of weird. I don't need to send a shrimp. Let's try some flowers instead. <laughs> so I ripped it up and just put a different piece down. Again, that washi tape is from London Gifties as well. I didn't really mean for this to be like a London Gifties specific thing, but uh, I have a lot of her supplies right now and I've really been enjoying them. So yeah, this was just an old bingo card. I got a big pack of these. I found them at um, one of my local antique stores and a ton of different colors. And I like the colors of the paper, not necessarily the bingo card. So I just used the reverse side of it and I love that color. Look at the aging on the side of it. It's so pretty. I love it. So another great way to use something that is old and vintage and has that look that I love without using it as its intended purpose. I didn't use the bingo card side of that. So I just put some William Morris washi down and yeah, anyway, so I hope you guys are doing well. I have, um, <sighs> been recovering, I guess, from the hurricane fiasco. What a letdown of a hurricane. If you follow me over on Instagram, you will have seen already that there were no issues um, that we had with the hurricane. And I'm not sure how my videos are going to go up, but I know in two of the videos that I filmed before it came, I kind of spoke about it before it happened. And I'm doing this recording, this voiceover after it happened. But, um, yeah, we didn't have any issues from the hurricane, none whatsoever. We are super duper praying for the Carolinas and the Bahamas, especially the Bahamas. They got slammed and um, we actually have a church across the street from us that is collecting donations for the Bahamas and I'm planning on cleaning out my pantry of all the stuff that we bought for the hurricane and just running it over there to send over to the people. I'm going to empty out all the boys' old clothes and all the babies' old clothes that don't fit them anymore 
and I'm just going to send it over to them because I just cannot even fathom losing everything like they did. I mean, it's just, it really breaks my heart. You know, I, I, I heard of a story of a mother with a four month old baby whose roof got ripped off of her apartment and she had to sit the storm out in the stairwell of her apartment building holding her four month old baby. And if you're not following the storm and you don't know what happened in the Bahamas, a category five hurricane with sustained winds of 185 miles an hour just sat on the Bahama, um, the Bahamian islands for probably close to two days. And to put that in perspective, 185 mile sustained winds is basically like an EF3 tornado. Tornadoes only last a couple seconds to a couple of minutes, and these people had to endure that um, that chaos for ne- for nearly two straight days, day and night. And yeah, I'm pretty upset about it. I'm really torn up. I'm grateful that um, we were so lucky, but I'm also just completely heartbroken for all those people over there, the mothers and the parents and the children that had to go through that. It's just absolutely heartbreaking. So, um. Consider finding a local area if you live in the States or even if in other countries are collecting donations for, um, you know, the hurricane survivors. Um, consider donating and helping these people get some semblance of normalcy back. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it. I'm just going to shove this in here to show you guys that you can just put this easily in there. That vintage um, stamp I got from Cafe Analog and... I'm going to bring it in close so you guys can see it. I hope that wasn't a downer. <laughs> it's just been on my mind and I kind of felt like I needed to talk about it and you guys are my therapy. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, I would recommend doing it so that you don't miss any future videos. And um, follow me over on Instagram because I share a lot more frequently over there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great weekend and I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.